We've all heard the saying, don't chase the markets, let them come to you. TrendSpider makes this easy via two primary types of alerts. Let's talk through them. The first is called a dynamic price alert. Right click on any indicator, trend line, or horizontal level on your chart and select create alert here. Here, you can define the details for dynamic alerts and its trigger settings. The first item you will probably notice in the dynamic alert dialog box will be the triggers option at the top. Here, you can select a breakthrough, touch, or bounce as trigger options, or select all three options in any combination. The definitions for each option are stated in the dialog box below the name of the trigger type. They will explain exactly how each trigger condition works. Below your trigger settings, you will see a slider that outlines a buffer zone around the chart item you are creating the alert on. This sets up a proximity boundary that notifies you when the price gets within a predefined range of your level, trend line, or indicator. In the data and schedules section below, you can define a trigger time frame known as confirmation time frame. In the expiration section, you can define your expiration for the alert and how many unique instances you'd like to be alerted on. Click Create Alert and TrendSpider will watch the chart for price to trigger the alert that you created. The second, more complex type of alert is the multi-factor alert. Here, you can create an alert the same way you would create a smart checklist or scanner or a strategy using our point-and-click scripting environment. You can define any conditions, use any time frames, and mix and match indicators and data types together to generate an alert that can watch for complex conditions occurring in tandem. These conditions can be technical and non-technical and can include up to four time frames per alert. Once a multi-factor alert is active, it can be edited via the alerts widget within the sidebar. Hover over the multi-factor alert that you wish to edit and four yellow icons will appear to the right side. Click on the page icon to make your edits. Within the alerts widget, you'll note that all active alerts will be marked in green at the top of the list and all expired alerts will be marked in gray at the bottom. Multi-factor alerts also offer the ability to be refreshed once they've expired. Again, you'll look to the four yellow icons we mentioned previously. Click on the refresh button to reactivate the alert. Alerts can be configured in a variety of ways to watch the market for you, allowing you to be more responsive and therefore more efficient. We hope this video gave you a sense for how you can use TrendSpider alerts to outsource watching charts to the cloud. If you're interested in exploring more, sign up risk-free and we'll send you a series of videos that will help you get started with specific aspects of the platform to determine if it's the right fit for you.